Hi, I wanted to use uh, some of this paint that I had left over from my last uh, painting uh, contemporary landscape on panel. So I have taped off a piece of arches paper. And here is the, here is the arches. And uh, it is uh, cold for uh, oil. Don't have to prime it once again. And uh, this is the 9 by 12 sheet. 9 by 12 size. They do come in uh, various sizes as well. And what I did is I drew a, uh, a box uh, from a template I have for a 9 by 12 painting so I know exactly where to put my tape. That way I can go out, instead of having to cut a mat, I can go out to the craft store and buy a mat and it will fit perfectly. So um, that's what I've done and I've taped it off. Be sure to take your nail once again over those edges. I can't stress that enough. I have put it on a piece of um, freezer paper. So if I decide to um, mount it, I can do that as well. That, that way it keeps the back clean and it also, I can move it around. So that's why I do tape that onto freezer paper. I have found some new markers that I absolutely love. These are called solid markers. That's the actual uh, name is solid marker. And I got it from uh, Amazon and they come, you can buy a box of many colors or you can buy black and white. What's nice about these is they dry in 10 minutes. It's like an oil. It moves like an oil stick. It moves like a R&F oil stick, but it's not. And they dry. They say seven minutes, so I'm giving them a couple extra minutes. So I have some black, I have a black one and a white one here. And I'm also going to use the art crayon for a different size. And I'll probably use a pencil as well. So I just wanted to show you this new marker, if I can get the lid off. You can see I used it right up. And what you can do, once again, is just turn it for more color. It's like a lipstick. Here it comes. That's why I like it. And it's just like I said, like an RNF stick. So I'm just going to do some mark making in here. So here we go. You can make real thick lines or thin lines. then I think I'm just going to put a mark right here and here and put the lid back on it and then this is the uh, art crayon Turn that up, and since I have purple out, I'm, I'm using a, a purple one. Must be at the end of this one. There we go. I am at the end of this one. This is going to get thrown out. And as you know, most of these marks are going to get covered up. The art crayon uh, dries supposedly in within 24 hours, where this, the uh, solid marker, dries in, dries in 10 minutes. Now I, I also need a thinner line, and this is a uh, permanent marker, but it's a thin line.
Okay, those are my marks. Oh, I forgot my white marker. This is the white solid marker. Let's see what that does on top of that black. I can get my lid off. There we go. Turn it up. I do want to wipe it off because I do have other color on top of it. Wipe it. Now with it mixing with the gray, with the black, it looks more gray than anything. But that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a coat of cold wax on top of this with my uh, Messermeister squeegee. And what color should we go with? And this is that Shiva orange. more transparent than I thought it was going to be. Then now what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to finish this. I just want all of this to dry. And tomorrow I will use up some of these colors. So maybe I'll put some burnt orange into it. Wow, look how transparent that is. This is the burnt orange, the Daniel Smith burnt orange. Which is a gorgeous color. Okay. I think I'm going to put some white on top of that. forgot to clean off my squeegee so look how easy it is to take it off
This is so wet. I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to let this dry just for a little bit. I will finish this tomorrow morning or tomorrow. So I'm going to let it be, maybe draw into it. Okay, I'm done. So this is, I'm going to let this sit until tomorrow and then we are going to finish it. Right now it's an absolute mess. As you can see. Okay, I'm back the next day, and this is pretty dry. It's tacky, but it's pretty dry. And I did make up some fresh paint. I've made up uh, uh, white and black, a little bit of gray. And this is Williamsburg Cinnabar Green Light. This is Gamble, uh, Gamblin's Manganese uh, Blue with some white and with some black. So I'm going to continue on with what I had been doing before. And this is cold wax, and this wax has the Galka gel in it. Love it when it does that. If I cover up all my lines, that's okay too. But really, that. into this painting at all why I don't isn't that great how you can just scrape scrape it off and, and, and bring some of the old color up I love that That's okay, that dark line is one of my original lines right there. I don't like that, so I'm going to cover it up. What I can do, continue this line up this way, which I like that. You use some of the dark blue. Don't like that dark blue. So do I want to? I'm going to take it off. Maybe put up it some some of it down here. And this is pure black. I think this is ivory.
Wow, this is really going nowhere in a hurry. How beautiful this manganese blue is. Love it. Very, very transparent. Well, this is one ugly mess going on. And my tape stops right here. I think I want just a little bit of white on the edge. One of these has to be longer. Maybe I'll do that same thing down here. One out in the white area. Maybe here. One, two, three, four, five. In case you were wondering what I'm doing, I was counting for odd numbers. This is one ugly painting so far. So far! But I guess it has to go into an ugly stage before it gets into a good stage, right? Ugly. I see that brought some life into it. The celadon. Put some of it right here. Then we'll expose some of that orange underneath. I like what happened there. That's about all I'm liking.
I'm going to brush that on. I can find a brush the right size. I'm going to paint this stripe green. not exactly straight is it that didn't work let's take this off since nothing seemed to work there. Well, I wonder if we could make this whole area Hello. green. Hi, how are you doing? Good, it's nice and cool in here. It is, it's comfortable. You're more than welcome to walk around. Comfortable is a good word because it's uncomfortable outside. <laughs> I know. Thanks for stopping. Have a good one. I love circles along with a lot of other people. Trying to pick up that little piece of wax. This is really, really, really ugly. Have to do something to break it up. Just gonna mess that up a little bit. yourself down. Now I'm going to see if I can expose some of this orange. And I'm going to cover this up right there. Maybe with some black. Oh my God. I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of white into this to see if I can just change that up a little bit. Put some of this into it.
Well, that didn't work. Okay, I'm tired of fooling with this because I'm not getting anywhere. It'll probably be painted over after it's dry because I am just not happy with it. There's too many colors going on, too many things going on. It's too busy. And I'm one of those, I mean, one of those moods that I don't feel like butzing with it. And I know you all know what butzing means. actually wore gloves today. I hope you all noticed that because I normally don't. There it is, folks. Not as quite as bad as I thought, but it's not a good painting, I don't think. I'm going to let it dry and then make a decision. It's just too, too. I'm not even sure what I mean when I say too, too. Let me get some of that orange to come up. too bad. This is what it'll look like. It's okay. It's just okay. It's nothing special, that's for sure. I think what I need is a black corner right there. That's what I'm going to do. Just put a little tiny piece of tape on that. I put my tape at. Here it is. This is, if I see something when I take the tape off, it's easy to retape. Because I'm just going to fix this one corner. And the mat will cover that up, so I'm not worried about it. I think I'm going to draw a circle, a bigger circle, right there. I need a circle down here. have a big circle, medium circle, smaller circles, and tiny circles. Oh, what the hell. Put one over there. 
Okay. Now I like that back corner a lot better. This is this is what it'll more or less look like. I like it. I went from not liking it to liking it. So, and like I say, it's nothing really, really special. But I can sell it in the gallery. Put a put a mat around it and a sleeve. I'll sell it in the gallery. So I thank you very much. And as they say, adios amigos. I'll give you a quick close-up of it then. Thanks, guys. And here's a close-up for what it's worth. And I thank you for watching. The size, by the way, is a 9 by 12.